Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take another problem from the International Mathematical Olympiad from 1979. In this problem, we have P and Q as natural numbers, and we have P over Q as 1 minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4, up to minus 1 over 13, 18 plus 1 over 13, 19. We want to prove that P is divisible by 1979. Interestingly, 1979 was the year that this problem came from. We are going to talk about the solution in a bit. Meanwhile, please consider subscribing to this channel and see you in about 15 seconds. To solve the problem, we first use a trick to simplify what we have for p over q. Remember, p over q is defined as 1 minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 and so on and so forth. We are going to write it as 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 and so on and so forth minus 2 times 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 up to 1 over 13, 18. It's easy to verify that it is correct because you have 1 over 2 and then you have negative 2 times 1 over 2. This results in minus 1 over 2 which was in the original case. We don't have something for minus 1 over 3 but instead we are going to have plus 1 over 4 and then negative 2 times 1 over 4 and so on and so forth. So line 2 is going to be the thing that we are going to start with. Now we want to simplify what we have in line 2. We have 2 times an expression and the expression that we have has even numbers as denominators. We are going to simplify 2 times all the denominators that we have. For the first one, we are going to write it as 1 over 1. For the second one, we are going to write it as 1 over 2 and so on and so forth. For the last one, we are going to write it as 1 over 659. Now we have the expression that you are seeing here. On the positive sides, we have 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 and so on and so forth. And on the negative side, we have 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. And at the end, we have 1 over 659. So it's easy to see that they have some common terms that we can remove them. Basically, the term that we can remove starts from the first term, which is 1. And the last term that we can remove is the term that has 659 in its denominator. If we remove all those terms, we are going to end up with P over Q as 1 over 660 plus 1 over 661. And so on and so forth until we have plus 1 over 13, 19. And remember, we want to prove that P is divisible by 1979. The other thing that we need to notice is if we add 660 and 1319, we are going to end up with 1979. We can have the same thing instead if we add 661 and 1318. We are going to end up with 1979. So the thing that we are going to do is we are going to pair these things together to be able to simplify it further. 
So basically, we are going to pair the first term and the last term, the second term and the second to last term, and so on and so forth. If we do this and then try to simplify the sum of two terms that we have, for the first one, we are going to have 1319 plus 660 over 660 times 1319. We are going to replace 1319 plus 660 as 1979. And we are going to take the same approach to add the second two terms the third two terms and so on and so forth until we have 1979 over 989 times 990. Now things are a little bit easier, but remember we still need to take several steps. We have P over Q as sum of multiple terms. Each term has 1979 as the denominator. If we factor it out, then we are going to end up with 1979 times a fraction. Let's simplify that fraction. Then we are going to have 660 times 661 times, so on and so forth, up to 1319 for the denominator. And for the denominator, we are going to end up with sum of a few terms. Now we need to focus on what we have for P and Q. First of all, remember we cannot just say that P and Q is defined as 1979 times something, so we can prove that P is divisible by 1979. Since we might be able to simplify 1979 with the denominator that we got here. So to be able to say that P is basically divisible by 1979, First, we need to say that 1979 is a prime number. And for the denominator, we don't have anything that has 1979 in it. So we cannot simplify 1979 with what we have as the denominator. Also note that we can write Q as 660 times 661 times so and so forth up to 1390. So that's our Q. And then since we cannot simplify that with 1979, we can say that P is basically what we have for the rest of the fraction. Then we can say that P is basically divisible by 1979 and that concludes our solution. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, maths involved activities, and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please kindly subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel. Hope to see you in the next video.